that was good and then we start to explore the different styles and the particular thumbnail that you clicked on in the video this is what had been created for it and it's really remarkable all the different details within it in the background you've got the mountainous like yeah it's just like mountainous landscape there or mountains actually in the background behind the foreground of the mountains is that deep and uh, it's really really amazing it's captured the essence super well it's got the streaks in the sky as well of all the clouds and yeah and that was a ghibli style so ghibli style was like this that i was trying to replicate and it did a very good job i must say um, ghibli was actually an art studio i believe founded by a japanese artist uh, Hayo, I can't remember his name. I don't want to butcher the name either. <laughs> but it was founded in 1985, uh, Ghibli Art Studio. And uh, yeah, that style then was the Ghibli. This particular style here. So I did that um, initially, and it came back with those four versions there that you're seeing. And I think it did a really good job. And I tried to merge the cinematic theory of my previous videos into this prompt so I can come up with something that's got a lot of depth and dimension to it. Case in point with the ultra wide angle there. So the ultra wide angle shot and then of the subject, the man looking out at snow laden, vast mountainous landscape at dusk. Ghibli art style. And that's what had been produced. So that's what happened there. Um, now... If we move on i did that again and again and it came up with different variations and that one is a lot more dotted with you know the red dots so i'd imagine that to be like a blizzard and there to be some snowflakes in the image um and the same thing there as well i tried to add 16 millimeter film grain so 16 millimeter film grain those of you who don't know this is a very noticeable example of that and in the black swan, there was really good like grain within there. So that showed like the struggle that the character was going through at the time. You can see the grain in that image there quite visibly. So if I try to add some of that cinematic style of imagery into the anime style of um, image, I thought that it could potentially make a difference, but it didn't quite capture it as good as I wanted to. That was the result there. Yes. <laughs> it looks like an artist has signed it as well. This is absolutely unreal where AI is nowadays. And it's only going to get better and better, which is a scary thought. Um, yeah, so that happened there. Now, I did forget to, at the start of the stream, split my screen. So, stream actually. But um, if you leave your comments, actually, after the stream, I'll answer them. I kind of screwed up on this stream. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So let's move on then. So I did I did then do prompts of all of these different styles here, starting with the Akira style. So the Akira style is very unique. Where's Ghibli? Did I, I had that open before? Is it? Yeah, no, it's here. Yeah, so this was the Akira style. So I'm gonna now try to replicate this style uh, in here. So let's see what happens with this prompt. And yeah, let comment down below where you guys are tuning in from. That'd be really interesting to know. Be really interested to know that. Um, yeah, and this is my first time, by the way, using Niji version six. I used it a little bit with um, version five, but I weren't really proud of the results, I would say. Uh, so that's that. Um, but I, I think the uh, the dog and uh, the cat are my favourites. I must say, I must say that they are definitely my favourites. This one's a bit too sinister, as I said before. Um, yeah, this does take ages, don't it? Might have to change it to. Uh... I've got yeah. These are my settings, by the way. So raw mode, stylized medium, low variation. And then fast mode, but I want to change it to turbo because it seems to be taking a long time. Yeah. Let's do the same thing.
in the meantime, let's look at some other stuff that I was doing before. It's not necessarily anime related, but it was uh, based on my last video that I did. So I was look taking a look at photographic film types like the Revlog Nebula. Um, for those of you who don't know, Revlog Nebula has got a really unique style to it. Uh, so like characteristics like that in the imagery I was trying to emulate and uh, yeah I put that within my prompt and it came out with this which I thought was fairly unique but it wasn't amazing um, but yeah that was basically what I was doing before there so hopefully this is loaded now nope <laughs> Gosh, this is taking ages. If it takes this long, we may not be able to do it today. It would probably be better off me doing a separate video of it and then just editing it for you. Um, but yeah, let's just see what this result is. And then if it takes a bit too long, then we'll call it a day. So I think it did a really, really, really good job there. Wow. A lot of detail. Wow. <laughs> what do you think? Comment down below. I think that's really, really amazing. Especially the fourth one. It looks super futuristic. And I don't know what these people have got above. Are they wearing helmets? What are they wearing? Or hoods. I'm not sure. It's interesting. And then we've got that, which is a second rendition of it. Wow, that is a really remarkable version. The second there. But I prefer the first, yeah, I prefer the first version, for sure. That was there. This is getting a bit chaotic now. Too many results. Um, yeah. Okay. Now let's try the next one. And then uh, I think we'll end it there. And I'll just make this into a video instead. Five different anime styles. So the Makoto Shinkai style is this. So it should hopefully come out something akin to what you're seeing here. It's a really unique style. It's like a painting. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's like a painting. It's probably like a watercolor painting of some kind. Or a blender between watercolor and actual like oil paint. It's really unique. Once I figure out how to do this with all of the styles that I have in mind, I will be creating a guide of how you can do it. Once I figure out, of course, I'll have to learn a lot myself. I think it's done a fairly good job with this. Um, the first one's the best, but their feet are both under the concrete, so I don't know <laughs> if that's going to be good for them. Um... I think the third is really good because it's got shallow depth of field as well. Shallow depth of field is basically the background blurred, but then the foreground or the subjects within it are in focus. So it's done a really good job. It's also got that bokeh as well. Bokeh is the same thing essentially. And if you see the lights, they are circular and they got that blur going for them. So that's a really, really good job there that it's done. I think. 
So we might be able to even do one more. I think that was uh, fairly quick. So let's do the last one, which is uh, Naruto style. Uh, Naruto is like that. So let's see if it can emulate something akin to that. So for those of you just tuning in now, this is what we did earlier. Tried that. And that was the Akira art style. And then before that, we just had fun with doing like an ultra wide landscape style shot. And that was a Ghibli art style. Ghibli, I had that open. Yeah, it was here, Ghibli. And then that was the best, of course. Then before that, it was just like some like cats and you know dogs and all of that. And then a cat with a baguette and then some kind of Jack the Ripper type of like Aiden Pierce type of image. That was really interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's come back now. That looks absolutely incredible. Wow. Wow, that is literally like straight from a magazine or straight from a series, the actual series itself. Wow. Let me know what your favorite is down below. But I think I like the second one the most for sure. Although I must say the fourth one is really like embody the spirit of where they are deep in the forest really well. Yeah. <laughs> it really has um yeah that's it for this live stream thanks for watching uh this is only my third live stream so as you can tell i'm not the best organized but i promise i'll get better in the future if you tune in thanks for watching i've been vey and you've been watching ai evolved till next time peace